A wild one at Glen Bryant Field, Paulson Stadium in Statesboro, Georgia. Georgia Southern defeats Old Dominion in the second round of the playoffs, 55-48. to Ted Alexander along with Andy Mishaw. Should we expect anything else from Old Dominion? Just a crazy game? It was. We knew it was probably going to be a shootout coming in, and the first person to turn the other team over to make them blink would win. And it, it had a couple of chances both ways, but in the end, it was Georgia Southern is still standing. Monarchs kept coming from behind all day long. After the Eagles would score, the Monarchs would counter. That happened in the first quarter when Ankes Harper's two-yard run tied the game at seven. Harper had a pretty good game early. The Monarchs established some rushing ground game, and they got some play fakes off of that later on, but they were pretty solid early. Monarchs were hoping to take advantage of some Eagle turnovers. They got one from Paul Morant, but they couldn't turn it into points. Yeah, they finally get the turnover that they needed, and then they got stopped. I mean, it was one of the two drives in the first half that they didn't get score on, and it just happened to be that one that could have put them ahead, but again, Georgia Southern stood up. So they take a lead to the Eagles, 14-7, but then Taylor Heineke starts going to work, and he finds Reed Evans a three-yard touchdown tied the game. Heineke, just, he looked like Heineke again all day long. There's not much else we can say about him. I mean, he just, every week, week in and week out, he just looks so good. I mean, it's spot on accuracy, and he doesn't make decisions that are bad. He doesn't cost the team turnovers. He just keeps going. How about Taylor Heineke to Prentice Gill? The senior reels in the freshman's aerial, 44 yard touchdown, tied the game at 21. By the way, it's an outstanding game for Prentice Gill. Eight catches, 154 yards, and two touchdowns, and some of the best catches we've seen him make all year. He made that one one-hander last week. This time he jumps up for him. He comes down with him. He, he's all over the field today. Talk about the future looking bright with the freshman Heineke. How about redshirt freshman Antonio Vaughn reeling this one in and then a little yards after catch action? Yeah, they blitzed him. They rolled the dice and they blitzed Heineke with the safeties. He found Vaughn and there was nobody behind him. Once he got away from that initial tackler, he just outran everybody to the end zone. 28-28 at halftime in the third quarter. It was once again Georgia Southern on Dominique Swope's touchdown. 76 yards taking the lead, but the Monarchs bounce back. Larry Pinker to seven-yard touchdown down reception. Yeah, just go down the list. There's about 15 people on this receivers list. They had to have at least eight different guys catch receivers. Several of them caught touchdowns. Reed Evans had a touchdown. Vaughn had a touchdown. Gill had two touchdowns. It just keeps going. Game was tied at 35-35. Key play in the contest. The Eagles fumble the football. It goes into the end zone. If Old Dominion gets it, it's a touchback. Instead, it was Georgia Southern recovering with uh, Nico Hickey, and they went on top 41-35. Yeah, it was like that all day long. It was one score and another score and a one score and another score. It looked like a fight from Rocky. Nobody was had any kind of defense. They're just slugging out with each other, just taking their best shots until somebody finally fumbled. And they had their shot, and the, the Eagles just jumped on it. And they maintained a lead. They wouldn't relinquish it. They'd go up 49-35. Monarchs would get another Heineke to Prentice Gill touchdown pass. Great spin move by Gill involved in that one. Made it 49-41 with 6.20 to go. In the end, it's 55-48. Came down to that final onside kick attempt, which was oh so close. Yeah, Heineke actually ran one in, too, to keep them alive. 37 seconds left. They had two timeouts. If you get the ball, that was plenty of time to score. And then right on the line with the 10 yards, and they, just a yard too soon touching it, and that's the difference. That's all it took, just that one yard. 55-48, Monarchs end their third season of football with a record of 10-3. and three. I don't think anybody in Monarch Nation can be uh, displeased with this year. What a wild and wooly adventure it's been. It has been a crazy ride. This game was a crazy ride in and of itself. It's like a microcosm of the whole season, the way it's just up and down. But uh, this was a tough, tough offense to come in here and try to face on the road in a hostile environment like that. It's a tough offense to face anywhere, but to come down on the road and to do it in the playoffs is really tough. And they still almost pulled it out. So nothing to be sorry about. Keep your heads up, Monarch Nation. They're going to be back. They will be back. And to the eight seniors, thank you for laying the foundation for this program, which in its third year not only makes it to the playoffs, but to the second round of the playoffs. They wrap up the season here in Statesboro with a 55-48 loss to Georgia Southern to end their season at 10-3. and For Andy Mishaw, I'm Ted Alexander, Monarch Media.